That's how the first double overtime game of this NBA season resolves itself with the Suns successfully challenging a foul called against Kevin Durant to prevent Lowry Markkinen from going to the free throw line and potentially sending this game to a third overtime. A lot to digest here in game time presented by Kia. That's Greg Anthony, Steve Smith. I'm Matt Weiner. I'm in the uh, that was a foul camp. I don't know where the two of you land on this, but after watching that however many times we saw it, it seems to me that Durant caught wrist. When I first saw this live, I thought he hit the ball. The first, man, Seeing I, it over and over again, I thought he hit wrist. With or without my glasses, the last, <laughs> um, I guess, angle we got, I saw him hit the ball. Right? Here. But I can't, but, but I can't tell. Yeah. I gotta put my glass on. Maybe in the now, on this angle, I don't see him hit ball at all. And you, you this can't. angle, I don't see ball. I don't see him hit ball. Well, the other aspect of this, too, is from, and it's harder from this angle, but Durant's right hand is on Markkinen's rib cage mm -hmm. as he's starting to go up. Right. That's also. That can be a foul as well. That can be a foul. Yep. And, and so I think there was a lot of emphasis placed on the hand and whether or not that was a foul. I felt like there was enough contact on that to call a foul, especially if you factor in what Durant did with the right hand, like which is a savvy play by a veteran mm -hmm. sure. uh, to put your hand there because oh, what yes. happens is it doesn't allow yeah, you to elevate. And everybody, all eyes tend to go to the oh. wrist mm -hmm. and to the, the contest at the shot. But if I can put my hand on you down here, just enough to when you start going up, it doesn't allow you to get to the level you want to on your elevation. It, it, has, it plays a role. It impacts you. If you watch that left hand, it's there, and it's on. And he does a good job pulling away, but as he's going up, that left hand right there, that right hand is on him as he's going up. And I, I'm sorry. I, listen, there's enough contact there for, for a call. Well, for first a of all, kudos to the Suns and Frank Vogel for retaining their challenge yes. to this mm -hmm. point, this late in the game. But secondly, we, could, we should clarify this for our viewers. If you challenge... The review opens up all kinds of possibilities on this foul. So they could have easily called that right hand on the rib yes. cage. They could have called any body contact down below the waist that affected Markkinen's upward shooting motion. All those are in play, regardless of what the officials thought they saw when the whistle was initially blown. Mm -hmm. All that becomes part of the equation when there's a review. And we all felt like we saw something, in some cases saw different things, that looked like fouls, and yet here we are with a successful challenge and a Phoenix win. Well, I think for you, you said it, man, that he still had his challenge, which is huge sometimes, when to use it, when not, and that's a hard call. But, you know, on all those reviews, it's totally hard because I thought for sure he didn't get ball, but then on one of the angles, I thought he got ball. If he got ball, then there's no foul. Right. But like GA said is, you know, a lot of times most referees, I was the master of that, GA. I'm yeah. going to hold you down. And go yeah. while you're going up. So it's just a sad yeah, move. Yeah, you do it all. I, I do it all the time. time. Everybody does. Because that's the one area, like the official, your eyes are trained to watch elbow up. Mm -hmm. And so if I can give me a little tug. Just a little nudge. Just, and again, it's not a lot. Like you see it in football with a lot of pass interference calls. It's like all I need to do is just, just slow you nudge. up just yeah. enough to affect the rhythm of your shot. But and especially that right hand, like you can see him with that hand fully on. The, you know, the right side of his rib cage there. And, like, again, everybody's looking up top, which you could argue on that aspect of it. But that you saw it there. That right hand is all the way on him up until the point he's getting ready to release that shot. And so... It got a little ball, I thought, man. Yeah. The, I thought he got ball. I thought he got some ball, too. I also now, thought he got him on the left elbow. Elbow. As well. Right there. Hmm. But, yeah, that that's a, that's a tough call. I'll tell call. you what. It's a risky... Play by Durant, yeah. gutsy play, right? Because you do in that situation, you almost he kind of had won the possession by being able to catch and gather. At that point, you almost don't want to allow the official to make that call. You know, and, you and know that's a tough and, shot. And everybody has turning and philosophy. spinning and firing. Well, we uh, saw Chet Holmgren we saw literally that, hit that same shot last shot. night. It yeah. is a tough shot. It's different philosophy. Some coaches say don't foul. Some coaches say do foul when they yeah. catch. Um, if I see your numbers. Or I'm going to try to file. <laughs> oh, absolutely. If they're not <laughs> facing the basket, facing, you turn yeah. it, I'm filing. Especially on the catch. I'm tackling. Yeah. yeah I'm tackling. <laughs> um, How to tackle him. <laughs> none of that is to take away what the Suns did, which is sweep two in Salt Lake City with Durant going for 38 and tonight 39. Here he was immediately after all that uh, was resolved in Salt Lake City.